Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use colors in Reaper. So I'm starting off with a fresh new project. And to create tracks, we can double click over here or just hit this plus button to create new tracks. But you'll notice by default, these tracks have a very boring color. But luckily, we could change that. So I could select this track and right click it and go down here and choose track color. Then we could choose a few different options over here, starting with set tracks to custom color. And that opens up this colors dialog. Now I'm using Mac, so it might look different for you, but either way, you should have a dialog that allows you to choose colors. So I'm gonna choose this color right here, hit okay. Now that track is that color. Now if we have items on the track, audio or MIDI, they're gonna take the color from that track. So if I add it down here, they use this boring gray. But if we change the color like this, it uses that same color for the track. But to make this easier, I like to add a keyboard shortcut to do this. So I'm gonna hit the question mark, which opens up our actions window. And I'm gonna type into the filter, custom track color. And we can scroll down here to this action, track set to custom color. And we'll give it a keyboard shortcut. I like to use the C key. And now I could select a track and choose the color that quickly, or select multiple tracks and do the same thing. Make both tracks this color. And now the tracks are that color with the item color matching. But there's a few other menu items we should take a look at. Let's select all these tracks and right click, go down here to track color. And we could also choose set tracks to random colors, to one random color, or back to the default color, which again is pretty boring. So let's choose set tracks to random colors. So now each track is different, but I like to use this first as using the theme adjuster, can use a different palette to work with these tracks. So let's go back to our actions, type theme adjuster, and assuming you're using the default seven theme, we could use this theme adjuster by going to global and scrolling down to these custom color palettes. I have it set up to the cool palette. So if I choose to recolor it right here, because the tracks were set to different random colors, it's gonna recolor the project every time we click this button. And we can click it until we get the colors we like. We'll choose a different palette, like from here, or the Eek ones, or Casablanca, or the Pride ones. But my personal favorite are the cool ones. Again, every time we click this, it randomizes the colors, and it's a bit quicker than choosing a different color for each one of our tracks. But of course, we could do that as well. Now we could also use different item colors than the track color. Let's create a few more items. And let's say this item is special. And I want it to stand out with a different color. We could right click it, go down here to item and take colors and change the color just of this item. And it has the same choices from before, but they're based on items or takes. Let's choose this one and let's give this a different color so it stands out. Let's use this red. And now just this one item is different from the other items on the track, giving it the ability to stand out. At any point, we wanna put this back to the color of the track, just double click to select all items on the track, right click, go to item and take colors, and set the items to the default color, which puts them back to the track color. Now we could also use different take colors. Let's say we're loop recording based on the size of this item, but we're not using lanes. So if we record and loop record over and over again in this area, it's gonna create takes. Let's put it in record and let's loop record. As it creates different takes on each loop and we're done, we could see each take is a different color. Take one, two, and so on. But if we want to give a take a special color, we could right click it, 
go to item and take colors and go down here to choose a color for our take. Let's give it a custom color. Once again, let's give it this red color. Now that take is red. Well, the other takes are still the same previous color. And if you want to choose this take as our keeper, we could right click, go to take, crop to active take. Let's put it back to the previous size. And now this color is different from the others. So if you want to put it back, just double click, right click, go to item and take colors and put it back to the default color. So they could all match again, if you want. Now, if we are recording with lanes, let's go up here to the options, overlapping recording behavior, and let's loop record while adding lanes. We use the same area, let's make it bigger. Now, if we loop in this section over and over, Reap is gonna create lanes. And because of that, we're also gonna get different colors for each lane, like this. So if we choose them, we can see the color more clearly. And again, if you wanna use a custom color, just right click, go to item and take colors and create a custom color for this item. Let's use the red again. And again, change that color to a custom color that we chose. Let's zoom back out and put these on the same lane. If we choose this lane to be the only lane we see, disable lanes, notice again, it's a custom color. And again, if we don't want it to be that way, we can just double click on this track, right click, go to item and take colors and set the items to the default color, which again is based on the track color. Unless you want to keep it special or a custom color. Now there's one other thing I want to show you, and it does require the SWS extensions called Auto Color. Let's delete all our tracks, and I'll go up here to my extensions for SWS, assuming you have them installed, and choose Auto Color. That opens up this dialog. I've already created rules based on the names of my tracks. Let's go to Options and turn this feature on. Enable Auto Track Coloring. And with this turned on, these rules are going to apply based on the colors I chose over here. So with no name, it's going to go to a any track, which is this color. So if I create a new track by double clicking or hitting the plus button, it defaults to this color based on any. But if I name a track, let's name this track Synth. Just by changing the track's name, it gave it a different color based on what I set up here. As a rule, choosing this color. And to add a rule, just hit Add Rule. Let's give it a name for base. Let's put it a bit higher. Let's give it a color by clicking here. I'm going to choose this bluish color. And now, if I name a track base, it's going to be this color. Let's name this track base. And it changed it to this color. And it works really well for creating multiple tracks. So if I right click, and choose insert multiple tracks. Let's create four guitar tracks. We created four tracks, guitar one, two, three, and four, and it automatically colored them based on the color I chose over here, because I created this rule earlier. So all these rules go in order, and you could add as many as you want, or just choose any for any track. So every track you add will start with that default color. So using order color is a very quick way to automatically create colors for our tracks. And again, any items on the track are going to default to those colors. Unless we set up a custom color based on the item or it takes. So that's pretty much it. That's using colors in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.